Like, how many stepmoms does this boy have yeah, at this right? point? Yeah, it's like, come on. And are you all sisters? Yeah. And are we all going to get together and bang it out? Yeah, I mean, it's like this big, <laughs> incestuous club of porn. Yes. yes. So there's that. Um, sometimes I like shooting guns, though. You know, I just want to show up and fuck, and I don't really want too much conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um, but getting into a character is definitely fun. It is, it is nice to like play dress up and of be something else, you know? Does it help you find a line of mutual chemistry with your partner when it's character based or do you have better organic chemistry with your partner when it is more gonzo style? Um, it probably depends on who I'm working with. Mm -hmm. There's definitely, um, there's guys that I like doing freestyle gonzo based cause they're good at it. And there's other guys that need that character or need that script. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But as far as like, I mean, I'm pretty particular about which guys I like to work with. Mm -hmm. I do try to make sure I work with guys that I only have chemistry with. Cause I feel like otherwise you can see that. Yes. It does read, you know, I mean like some, some people may be better at faking it than others, but I, I like my scenes to be like real and I want to have fun in my scenes and I want that to come across. So I try to make sure it's people that I get along with, you know. Mm -hmm. But then I've also had friends that I've tried shooting with and it's it doesn't work because it's like, oh, I like hanging out with you and you're fun, but there's no sexual chemistry. Yes. So there is yes. that too, you know, there's that. There's the, it's that fine line, so you got to find that balance. You know? I think it's important that you mention that with your friends too, because it's sometimes assumed that being in this industry, you will meet someone and you can just bang it out. And I mean, and some people can, can. Some totally. People can. But it, it there are still are lines of relations like friendships versus lovers, right? And things like that. Like those those real common relationships that you find on any platform still exist they in do. porn. They do. I mean, yeah. like there's people like there's guys that I like working with. But I don't really talk to them mm -hmm. or hang out with them. We show up, we do our scenes, we leave. There's other guys that I'm like, oh, yeah, I get to work with, like, we enjoy. And then there's, like, the ones that I actually am friends with, you know? Yes. So there's those different lines. And they're all great. I do good scenes with all kinds of, you know, like, it's just, I don't know, it just depends. It also depends on the type of scenes that I'm totally. doing. Totally. You Sometimes know? you don't want to bang your best friend and you need this guy to do this job. Yeah. Like, you can kind of... You or if, like, it requires a certain works. type of scene. Yes, yes. Like, I'm like... You know like, who's going to bang it up. Yeah, I know. I'm like, okay, this person's great for this. This person's good for this. Or no way will I do a BDMS scene with this guy. Yes. It's, I just... just doesn't feel right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, after, you know, being experienced, knowing your business, knowing what you're good at, knowing what you like, do you always have, like, a submissive role with your partner or a dominant role? Or do you switch back and forth based on that that on the person, also, yeah. I definitely switch back and forth. So for the most part, since I'm usually the MILF, I'm usually the dominating one. Right. But there's definitely, like, some guys that I'm always the submissive with. And, I mean, it just, again, depends on the guys. Absolutely. You know, there's some guys that will try to be dominant with me, and I'm just like, look, little boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just not out. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. Um, girls, I tend to be more dominant. Mm -hmm. If a girl tries, I don't know what it is. If a girl tries to dump me, it kind of annoys me. I don't know why. Unless I know her. Like, there's been a couple girls that I'm friends with, and that's okay. I feel like it's more of a comfort thing with girls. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. I have to know you. Yeah, I, absolutely. You know, I feel like otherwise it's like the mean girl syndrome with some of the girls. 